you know, mobile homes and RV parks together, they are very similar. And exactly what you just said, you know, if you own a mobile home park and you don't want to deal with the homes, well, either one, you can buy the park. And if there are a majority of the homes that are owned by the park, you can gift them over even to the owners or sell them at a reduced rate. And therefore they own, you know, the homes at that time. And you are, you're dealing with the infrastructure again, like you said, you know, the, the sewer, the water, the electrical. One thing that we're doing that we're excited about is that we're putting in uh meter. So each pad is individually metered. So that any usage over a particular you know, wattage for the, for the month, they, they'll pay for over that, but um, it's just cool. I mean, there's so many different ways and you can, you can increase uh, amenities and everything else uh, for the property to increase the value, keep it clean, um, you know, put rules, making sure there's the, the, the roads are paved, um, making sure that it's really uh, accessible for everybody. So um, there's a lot of them out there. There's a lot of opportunity out there for uh, mobile home parks. And, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. Um, it's not necessarily going to grow in uh, value like uh, a great big multifamily property would, but it's definitely consistent. And it's, it's a, you know, a safer investment, I think, in some ways. Love it. Yeah. Awesome. 